Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, June 22nd. It is Thursday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time. It's the optional memorial of Saints John Fisher and Thomas More. Interestingly, uh, I will be flying tonight, Thursday night, to London, uh, where these two men were martyred in 1535. So you probably know the story, King Henry VIII was married to uh, Catherine of Aragon. He wanted uh, a divorce and to uh, remarry to Anne Boleyn. And uh, Bishop John Fisher and Thomas More, who was the Chancellor of England and a uh, prominent lawyer, both of them refused to uh, acknowledge his divorce and his claim to be the new um, uh, head of the church in England, the Church of England. And so the king, frustrated by their uh, allegiance to Rome, to the church, and not to him, had them both beheaded within two weeks of each other in 1535. And so we'll be going to this place uh, in London, and I will bring you videos uh, from London and Scotland during my, my trip. So we pray for their intercession. St. Thomas More is the patron saint of lawyers and politicians. And boy, do we need more men and women like him who are willing to stay faithful to God more than man. You know, Thomas More, I think, is famous for saying, I die the king's loyal servant, but God's first. So, you know, remember, we're playing for an audience of one, God first, our country, our family, myself, everything else is after that. And so I'd like to focus on the first reading today from St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 11, verses 1 to 11. And so it's interesting, uh, St. Paul is saying, please put up with me. Um, there's been some, what he calls here, super apostles that have come in and they've distorted the message. And uh, he says, I'm not a great speaker, but I, I have been given the knowledge of Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit and I urge you to listen to me. Um, and I think, again, this is so relevant today because there's so many I think, super apostles that have different messages than the gospel. And they can, they can sound pleasing to the ears, but they're not the gospel. For example, we have the prosperity gospel that is being preached widely. And it's, it's gaining a lot of uh, followers because it sounds good to the ears, you know. Prosperity Gospel says that if you follow God, you'll be blessed financially and with good health. And, and that may happen, but it's not the Gospel. Jesus says, if, in order to be my disciple, you have to pick up your cross daily. You know, he tells the, the rich young man, go sell what you have, give to the poor, and then come follow me. Um, following Jesus isn't easy. Now, he may bless you with finances. He may bless you with good health, but all of it is in order to, to serve him. It's not, if I serve him, then I will be blessed with these other things. What are some of the other messages that get distorted in today's world? Some will preach that there, there's no devil, there's no sin, there's no hell, or I just have to be a good person in order to go to heaven. Scripture is clear that, you know, we need to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. We need to receive his body and blood. Unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life in you. We have to lay down our lives for others. We need to pick up our cross daily. Jesus says, anyone who gives up home, country, family for my sake will receive a hundred times more in this life with persecution. It's not gonna be easy. And in the next, eternal life in the next. And so let us spend time in the word of God, especially the letters of St. Paul. They're so rich in, in his preaching, you know, he says, we preach Christ crucified. We need to be reminded of Jesus Christ crucified because that's the depth of his love for us. St. John Fisher and, and St. Thomas More were two men who could have easily just said, I'm going to go along with the king, you know, privately, I don't think this is right, but publicly I'm going to go along with it. No, we need to be bold, um, that the only way to live a fulfilled life, uh, the only way to eternal life, is by preaching Christ crucified, by following his way of the cross, by laying down our lives for others. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for 
the saints like John Fisher and Thomas More who have shown us the way to make you our top priority. Give us the strength and courage to carry our cross and to face persecution. May we always remain faithful to you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To you and to your families, buen camino, and God bless you.